Mr. Stephen Mohan. Hello, how are you? And welcome to Catchphrase, the show that's so simple, all our contestants need to do is say what they see. And one eagle eye player could be taking home a massive £50,000. <laughs> Oh, indeed. <laughs> right, it's time to meet tonight's players. Please welcome Petra, Zachariah and Sarah. <laughs> Good to see you all. Now, Petra, tell me about yourself. Uh, my name's Petra. I'm 43. I'm a single mum of two boys. Um, they actually think that you're my boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know where they've got the idea from. Well, so, so you're a single mum? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm single. Well, there you go, then. Ready so, to mingle? Well, I've got a um, catchphrase buzzer as my message tone. Have you? Yes. And so... every time it goes off, the boys are like, it's Stephen, it's your boyfriend, it's Stephen. Oh, so, yeah, so... That's lovely. <laughs> now, tell me, what do you do for a living? Um, well, mum, first of all, um, but I worked overseas um, up till four years ago. I was a holiday rare. Oh, really? Yeah. So, what sort of age group? Well, I first started, in my younger days, I was um, 1830s. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you worked there during the hurricane season. I did. I worked out in Mexico during the hurricane season. And before the hurricanes, you used to get a box ready called your ration box, which would have, I don't know, chocolate, things to keep you going after the hurricane. Um, but I always used to eat everything before the hurricane came. <laughs> so, so, so if it did hit, you'd be in trouble. Yeah, it did hit, and I was in trouble. There you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> there we are. Yeah. Well, look, good luck. Thank you very you much. You seem very lovely indeed. Zachariah, how are you doing? I'm doing well, man. Thank good to see you. Me, yeah. Tell you what, you're a big bloke, aren't you? I wouldn't mess about with you. <laughs> Don't try it. Well, no, I will not. <laughs> no, I won't try it. Don't you worry about that. Tell me about you and your family. Um, yeah, my name's Zachariah. I'm from London. I live with my wife, Rebecca. We met in the church. Basically, yeah, I was in the choir and she joined the choir and a and few, years, few years later she said yes. So it obviously proves I've got a, an amazing voice. <laughs> yeah, this one. What do you do in your spare time? I love being active, like going to the gym, playing football and all that sort of stuff. You'd style. never know that you went to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> never know. Like a bit of wrestling as well. But... Do you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any moment, I think you're going to try and tackle me or something. You keep looking at me. No, no, I'm the teddy bear at heart. Are I'm, you? I'm absolutely fine. Are you really? Yeah. Do you know something? Let's hope you get That's lots of stuff. money. Thank you very much. Good luck indeed, right. Sarah's at the end. How are you doing, Sarah? I'm good, thank you. Good, good. Where are you from? I'm from Talbot in South Wales. Very nice. Um, now, Sarah, tell everybody about Miss World. You entered it. When did you enter it? Yeah, I, um, I did Miss Wales in 2011. So I won in 2011 and I went to Miss World. And I'm five foot three, so I was the shortest contestant at Miss World out of everyone in the whole world. <laughs> and how did you do? Um, I came in, like, top 40 out of 120. Wow. Now, tell everybody about your shaving your leg situation. Yeah, um, I don't really like shaving my legs much, so usually when I do shave my legs, I'll only shave the one. So I go around <laughs> with one shaved leg and one hairy leg. But if it's a special occasion, I will shave both. So is, so... is tonight a one shaved leg or two shaved No, because I'm meeting you. Uh, I shave oh. both my legs, so yeah. Well, yeah. Isn't that isn't that a joy? <laughs> there you go. What a result! Well, good luck to you all. Let's hear it for tonight's contestants. <laughs> right on this show, a catchphrase could be a well-known saying, a film title, even the name of a book. But if past contestants are anything to go by, a jumble of random words. Now, the first two contestants to guess three catchphrases go through to the next round. The one who doesn't is sadly eliminated. If you think you know the answer, buzz in. But if you get it wrong, you will not be frozen out. And you can continue buzzing in as often as you like. Fingers on your buzzers. Let's play catchphrase. <laughs> Mr Chips, everybody! <laughs> Zachariah. Seven year itch. It's a seven year itch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice work. Okay, here is your next catchphrase. Now think about it. What are they? Zachariah. Dad dancing. Correct. <laughs> so. 
Zachariah has got two already. He just needs one more to go through to the next round. Then you'll be safe and you'll be playing for money. Petra and Sarah, come on. Try and get this one here. Get ready now. There's the clue. Sarah. Team building? It is team building. Wow. <laughs> there's the team, there's the building. Put them together and there's the catchphrase. Well done. Come on, Petra. This could be your one. So, what has just happened now? What is it, Sarah? Peppa Pig? It is Peppa Pig! <laughs> <laughs> right, so, Zachariah and Sarah, they just need one to go through to the next round. Petra still needs to get one on the board. Get those fingers ready. Here's your next catchphrase. So, it's a famous phrase that we all know and love. There's the clue. Zachariah. Keep calm and carry on. He's gone through. <laughs> well done, Zachariah. You are now safe because you've got through the first round. OK. Sarah, you just need one more to join Zachariah. Petra, come on. You can do this. Here's your next catchphrase. What is he doing? Running for time? He's not running for time, but not a bad guess, but it's not the one that we need. <laughs> Petra. Beat the clock. She's got it! <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Petra is now in the game. Who's going to get this one here? <laughs> Petra. Stairway to heaven. It is the stairway to heaven! So, this is a very tense moment now for Sarah and Petra. Whoever gets the next catchphrase correct is going to join Zachariah to try and win a lot of money on tonight's catchphrase. Fingers ready. Let's play the next catchphrase. Right, what is it? Petra. Running suit. It's not a running suit. Carry on. Sarah. Suit jump? Ooh! No, it's not a suit jump. So, fingers back on your buzzers. Let's continue the catchphrase. <coughs> Sarah. Jumpsuit? It's a jumpsuit! She was so close, but we do need to say goodbye to Petra. But you've been lovely. <laughs> Have you enjoyed you. your day? I've had an amazing day. Thank you very much. Well, it's that's all that matters. Give her a round of applause, Thank please. <laughs> So, Zachariah and Sarah will be back in just a moment to see if one of them can win the £50,000 jackpot. Can they do it? Find out in just a bit. <laughs> Welcome back to Catchphrase, where the tension is really building for Zachariah and Sarah, as both of them are hoping to play for our £50,000 jackpot later in the show. Now, this is where things start getting interesting, because from now on, each correct answer is worth a cool £100. Buzz in when you like, but if you do give me a wrong answer, this time you will be frozen out. So that means you can no longer take part in that catchphrase. Good luck to you both. The game is on. Let's play catchphrase. <laughs> Mr Chips has just gone somewhere. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so he just walked through the door. And he's... Zachariah. Honey, you're home. Zachariah, I can't accept that, I'm afraid, which means you are frozen out. You may have just helped out Sarah. Let's carry on. <laughs> Sarah. Honey, I'm home. That's correct. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she stole it from under your nose. OK, £100 for Sarah. Now a chance to add another £500 to her bank. Let's head to the bonus board, where we see nine squares that hide our bonus catchphrase. Buzz in whenever you're ready. <coughs> and remove the square to say what's there. Um, Mermaid Rock? <laughs> Mermaid Rock, no, it's not, but it's always worth a go, that's what I always say. You're both back in play with this catchphrase. <coughs> Sarah. Castle in the sky? Oh, it is a castle in the sky, 
but that's not the catchphrase. Zachariah, you get to see the rest of this one. <laughs> Zachariah. Is it building castles in the sky? Yes, it is. <laughs> you get a chance at the bonus board. Take away a square whenever you're ready. <laughs> Five seconds. Anchor, anchor. Forged out of time. OK, let's get back to another £100 catchphrase, please. <laughs> yes, we know what that sound means. Uh, the next catchphrase is not just worth £100, but a whole lot more. If you answer correctly, you'll also get to take home a very nice prize. Good luck to you both. So, think about where they are. And there's the clue. Think about the picture, Zachariah. Jailhouse Rock. It's a Jailhouse Rock! Woo! Well done. Another £100 in your bank, Zachariah, and, of course, you get that prize. But what have you won? It's time to dig out the suntan lotion, Zachariah, because you and a friend are jetting off to Mallorca! Wow. Courtesy of Monarch, you'll spend three nights staying in a boutique hotel from which you'll be able to soak up the atmosphere of this bustling island, marvel at the stunning architecture, while also enjoying a cocktail or two. <laughs> <laughs> And you also get to have another chance at our bonus board. Let's go there now. Remember, if you get this, it's another £500 in your bank. <laughs> Just out of time? No problem. You're both back in play. Let's have another catchphrase, please. Wait for the clue. There you go. Zara. Punching above his weight? He's punching above his weight. <laughs> Punch above your weight. Punching above your weight. Absolutely correct. And Zara, now add another £500 to our bank to take the lead. Let's find out. Take away a square, Zara. <laughs> oh, sometimes a very nice square indeed. Will the middle solve the riddle? Um, Mr Anker? <laughs> No, it's not Mr. Anchor. OK. <laughs> Fingers on your buzzers. Here's another catchphrase. £100. Could be yours. <laughs> Sara. Blind as a bat? Blind as a bat it is. <laughs> so, another chance for Sara as she narrowly takes the lead at this moment in time. Let's see if you can take away another square and say what's there. Could this help you? This could be a good square for you. Anchor hair? <laughs> no, it's not anchor hair. <laughs> what is anchor hair? <laughs> it's say what you see, and it's a guy with hair on an anchor. I don't know. <laughs> right, let's have another £100 catchphrase. <laughs> the phrase is right there in front of you. Zachariah. One man's treasure is another man's treasure. It certainly is. That's good, that's good. <laughs> OK, will Zachariah now add another £500 to his bank? Can he do it? Anchorman. It's an anchorman! <laughs> and let's remove the squares to reveal the bonus board. There you go, that's where the arrow was pointing. Anchorman indeed. Right, let's see the scores at this moment in time. Sarah to find the lead with £300, Zachariah in the lead with £800. But now, all of that can change very quick, as we know, because it's time to move on to our next round and we are going to double the money. Every catchphrase now is worth £200 and the bonus is worth £1,000. Let's get moving and bring on the next catchphrase. <laughs> Zachariah. Sore loser. It's a sore loser. <laughs> so, Zachariah has just hit the £1,000 mark in his bank, but can he double that? Well, he will do if he gets the bonus catchphrase right. It's worth £1,000, Zachariah. Nine squares are there. 
take one away. Let's see what you got. Gonna give it a go? No, just out of time. No problem. £200, up for grabs. Who's gonna get this one? Good luck. What do you see? Zachariah. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. He said what he saw and he's got it right. <laughs> OK, another £200 in your bank. Let's go back to the bonus board. Which way are you going to hit? Is that any good? Worth a Bounce, bash? Bouncy ball. Bouncy ball, no, it's not. Both back in play. Get those fingers ready. Here's your next catchphrase. <laughs> and we know what that sound means. Yes, another lovely prize. He's up for grabs. Whoever gets the next catchphrase right. Who's it going to be? Let's find out. <laughs> Think about what Mr Chips has got now. <laughs> Sarah. Cold feet. He's got cold feet. <laughs> Sarah, at nice, you've done £200, making your total £500, and you've got a nice prize. But what have you won? Congratulations, Sarah. You've just won £1,000 to spend <gasps> on designer shoes. Woo! Courtesy of Shoes of Prey, you'll have the chance to design your very own handmade shoes. From the style to the colour and even the material, you'll decide it all. Now all you need to do is practice that structure. <laughs> Awesome, thank you so much. Will you shave both legs for? I definitely will, yeah. Wearing a nice pair of shoes, yes. I'll have to shave both, yeah. Special occasion. <laughs> right, and let's go to the bonus board now. If you get the bonus board, you will then take the lead. But can you do it? <laughs> Present board. Oh no, those squares are hard, okay? Not really revealing anything yet. Back in play. Here we go. What's the difference between one and the other? Sarah. Walking on the wild side. Walking on the wild side is correct. <laughs> Walk on the wild side. Walking on the wild side, both correct. Brilliant, right. Back to the bonus board for you, Sarah. Take away a square, say what's there. Can Sarah get it for a £1,000? Uh. Variety of balls. Variety of balls. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> I think you need that middle square on that bonus spot. I think that's going to help. OK, never mind. Fingers back on your buzzers. <laughs> Sarah. Love Island. It is Love Island. Wow. £900 in your bank, Sarah. You could make it up to 1900 if you get our bonus catchphrase right. And here it is. Right, let's take a look. Um, middle ball? Middle ball. No, it's not middle ball. All right, let's go back to another £200 catchphrase, please. So, just say what you see. Zachariah. Dust bunnies. They are dust bunnies! <laughs> and don't they look cute? Right, back to the bonus board. Will Zachariah be able to nail this and get another £1,000 in his bank? <laughs> Let's take away the square to reveal what's there. Baby ball? It's not baby ball, no. Only three squares left. Let's have a £200 catchphrase, please. What has Mr Chips... Oh, Zachariah. The weight of the world on his shoulders. He's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> Zachariah is not messing around at this moment. Back to the bonus board for him. <laughs> well, the middle solves the riddle. Bouncing baby boy? No, it's not a bouncing baby boy. Both back in play. Good luck. Mm. 
Zara. Twisting his arm? She's twisting his arm! <laughs> this is a very close game, but that can all change right now if Zara gets the bonus catchphrase. Can she do it? Only two squares left. <laughs> Could be a good square. Football present? It's not a football present. Let's carry on. So what is he? Where is he? Zara. Below the belt? He's below the belt! <laughs> she said what she saw and she got it correct. Now, that means you get the last square on the bonus board. <laughs> Take it away. Um... Middle child? <laughs> middle child. Where are the kids? <laughs> <laughs> it's a black... Tie ball. Oh, oh. oh that's, black that's tie quite ball. It's quite, <laughs> quite hard. Well, yeah. clearly none of you got it. <laughs> okay, what we're going to do is we're going to roll that thousand pounds over onto the next catchphrase. So whoever gets the next one right will bank the thousand pounds. Here we go. Let's play the thousand pounds catchphrase. Right, what are they and what's that? Zachariah. Roman Light. <laughs> OK, Zachariah, you are very close. Sarah, you get to see the rest of the catchphrase for £1,000. And at this point, I cannot give you any more clues. <laughs> Sarah. Roman Candle. She got it! So let's take a look at the scores now. Zachariah is slightly behind on £1,600 and Sarah is on £2,300. Time for Zachariah and Sarah to calm their nerves in the traditional catchphrase way with a nice cup of tea and a biscuit. <laughs> Find out how they get on and who will get one step closer to the super catchphrase after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Catchphrase, and I tell you what, I'm getting really excited because from now on, the phrases come thick and fast, but more importantly, so does the cash. From now on, every correct answer is worth £500, and you can buzz in as often as you like. Just keep pressing and guessing until you get them right, because one of you will be going through to play for £50,000 at the end of this round. Here we go. Bring on the next catchphrase. Mr Chips, there's the clue. Come on. What's he doing right now? Fighting his corner. Correct. <laughs> 500 pounds. <laughs> Remember, just say what you see. That's the rules of the game. Here's another 500 pound catchphrase for you. <laughs> Sara. Bird watching. Bird watching is not. OK, let's play a bit more. Think about what type of bird it is. Pigeon <laughs> watching. Pigeon watching. <laughs> no, it's not pigeon watching. Let's carry on. <laughs> Zachariah. Eyes of an eagle. No, it's not eyes of an eagle. <laughs> Sarah. Hawk eyes. No, it's not hawk eyes. Oh, I tell you what, you just said something very interesting there about the bird, all right? Think about it. Here we go. <laughs> Zachariah. Watching. Him Hawk. <laughs> I so thought we were there. You are so close. Think about what you just said, Zachariah, because you were so close. Come on! <laughs> Sarah. Watching him like a hawk. Yeah! <laughs> right, well done. Another £500 in your bank. Here's yeah! another catchphrase. <laughs> right, what is that? And what is it doing? <laughs> Zachariah. Hat trick. It's a hat trick! He's back in the game. He's back in the game. He's back in the game. Right, here's another one. <laughs> £500 up for grabs. 
What is in there and what is he? <laughs> Zachariah. Joker's treasure. No, he's not Joker's treasure, but close. Come on. <laughs> Sarah. Fool's gold? It's fool's gold. <laughs> Another £500 catchphrase coming up. What is Mr Chip doing, Zachariah? Hanging on by his nails. We can accept that. Hanging on by his nails, hanging on by his fingernails. <laughs> this is getting closer. Here's another £500 catchphrase. So what is that and what is it getting? Chain reaction. It's a chain reaction! <laughs> Oh. Can you believe it? That sound means it's the end of the round. And it means tonight's winner is... Sarah! <laughs> now, unfortunately, we have got to say goodbye to Zachariah. You've been brilliant. You really have. Also, don't forget, you've got that trip to Mallorca and you are going home with £3,100. <laughs> and Sarah, get ready, because it's time to face the super catchphrase. <laughs> so, Sarah, this is the super catchphrase. Your chance to play for that incredible £50,000. Um, what could that money do for you? Yeah, I'd really like to treat my grandparents because my grandparents brought me up for most of my life. OK. So. Well, fingers crossed. Yeah. Right, here is a reminder of how it works. This pyramid is made up of 15 numbered squares. Behind each square is a catchphrase. You've got just 60 seconds to get from the bottom to the top, but you can only move up a level once you've got one catchphrase right from the line that you're on. It does get tougher the higher up you go, but the good thing is, the money goes up too. Make it to the top and answer the final super catchphrase correctly and you will take home that massive £50,000. Number 11 is always starred because behind that is an amazing prize. This is what you could win. Sarah, if you answer the catchphrase behind tonight's number 11, then you'll be heading off to the white sands and crystal clear waters of Thailand. Courtesy of IceLolly.com, you'll spend ten amazing nights relaxing on Thailand's tropical beaches while enjoying all the culture and cuisine this amazing destination has to offer. Good luck. That's amazing. Incredible prize. Yeah. Have you ever been there? No, I'd love... I've always wanted to go to Thailand. Right. Yeah, I've always wanted to go. Well, there you go. If yeah. you get number 11, then Nat will be with you, along with the £10,000 if you get that far, OK? Remember, just say what you see. If you get stuck on one, we can always pass and then we can always go back, all right? OK. Good luck. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. OK. Your 60 seconds will start when you select your first number from the bottom row. Two. Two. Here we go. Snow dunder. Correct. Eight. Um... Surf, wind, surf, um, pass. T uh, seven. Um, worldy. Um, marry in the world, 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 uh, pass. Uh, nine. Over the rainbow, jumping over the rainbow. Correct. Eleven. Um, knitting, jumpers, small knitting, family knitting, um, knitting for the family, um, knitting, family knitting, pass. Twelve. You've won £5,000! Nice done. Well done. £5,000! How about that? Uh, Oh, Sarah. Oh, but look, let's go back on the ones that you passed on for you, uh, playing at home. Uh, number seven, the world and his wife. Oh, yes. Right. Okay, let's look at number eight. This was a boardwalk. Oh, yeah, I know. It's so obvious when you say it. I you know? know, that's the yeah. problem. Uh, number 11, this was for the holiday. 
It's a close-knit family. Oh, yeah. No. And number 12, that was cottage cheese. <laughs> but forget about that, because you have won £1,000 of designer shoes, £3,800 that you banked earlier on, and this £5,000, which takes your price total up to £8,800. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Yes. Well done, you. And thank you to you for watching. We'll see you next time for more Cat Trays. Good night. <laughs> well done, Sarah. Sponsored by Furniture Village. Ah, big night, eh? Big day. See, the boss is going to dump a mountain of work on my desk, expect it sorted within an hour before I race to a meeting, do a massive presentation, rush back to work, plough through the sales reports, covering for Jonesy as usual, then dinner with the in-laws. Big day start with Barocca. Gareth and Julie, Western Wolf. They're looking to ensure your house to a price comparison site. Look. If you think you'll only find the best home insurance deal there, then lots of luck. Coffee, Mr. Wolf, lots of cream, lots of sugar. Oh, thanks, Morad. I'll see you crazy kids around. <laughs>